at my HOMA IR score so you can understand this a little bit better. Um, so I had, I, I use a testing kit because um, I do not have a provider that will test fasting insulin for me. So my glucose came back at 66 and you might be like, holy crap, Shanna, like that's low, <laughs> like under 70 is really low, right? Um, I don't feel bad when my glucose dips like this. It's probably this low most mornings but I'm really good at burning fat because I'm metabolically flexible. So my glucose is dipping low, but my body knows how to transition to fat burning. So I don't even feel that. I feel great. Um, so that will happen, you know, as you get better at burning fat. So my glucose was 66. My fasting insulin was 7.5. I multiply those together and I divide it by 405 and I get 1.2. Now, the reason why I like you to get both of those is because I might look at my glucose and say, oh, I have awesome blood sugar control. It's at 66. And my fasting insulin is actually a little bit, I, I don't want to say elevated, but if we look back at optimal, let's see, where is it right here? Um, it was 7.5. So some, some math, some people will say under eight is optimal. Um, but, uh, and others say under six. So if we look at this, you know, I might think, oh my gosh, I have the beginning stages of insulin resistance, but that coupled with my glucose, I really have no risk of insulin resistance with my current lifestyle and where I'm at now. 